The story has to start with UNC. The story has to start with the University of North Carolina Tar Heels smacking around Duke in their basketball men's rivalry on Saturday. And the story starts with Armando Baycott. Armando. For probably the first time this year, uh, the story positively starts with Armando Baycott. Uh, Definitely in 2024. Armando Baycott woke up, and UNC looked like a national championship contender uh, against a, a top-10 team. Even even today, with the updated rankings after the loss, Duke's still a top-10 team at 9. So, what in the heck got into Armando Baycott? I'll tell you right now. It sounds like he's been listening. It sounds like he heard shows like this one saying, where's the Armando Baycott that we know? Where's the Armando Baycott that we've gotten used to over the last half decade? Where's the Armando Baycott that's won all of these awards? Well, I'll tell you right now, that's what we got against Duke. Kyle Filipowski scored the opening bucket on a sweet spin move. And I was like, oh, we might get an aggressive Filipowski. Look at this. That was about the last time Baycott wasn't eating his lunch. That was it. 16 seconds. That was That's all they led for in the entire game was Duke for the first 16 seconds but uh, or 16 seconds after that bucket. But, but Baycott was aggressive. He was playing with attitude. Right? When, when he got a rebound after a Duke miss, it felt like he paused for a beat to make eye contact with someone in scow. After he scored a bucket down low on Filipowski, he hit him with the too small gesture, saying that he's too small to guard him, even though Filipowski is both taller and heavier. Here's Baycott on the comments about him recently and how he took them. I knew we couldn't lose this game. I wouldn't allow us to lose this game. And, I mean, I see what everybody say. I told you, I don't miss nothing. And just going into this game, I mean, it was just a different fire. And, and really, I came in just pissed off just seeing, you know, some of the things people say. And I just love this university so much. And I think I see stuff like people questioning me and, like, how much I really wanted and stuff like that. I took that personal. I respect the heck out of an athlete that says, we weren't going to lose that game. I wasn't going to allow it. I think there are teams out there, Duke included, that would be a much better team if somebody on the team went out there with that kind of attitude. The biggest development from that game on the UNC side, and we'll get into the Duke side, but the biggest development from that game from the UNC side is this. If Baycott plays like that, there is another level of UNC basketball. Because we've seen this year R.J. Davis level up his scoring. We've seen this year Cormac Ryan level up his peskiness. We've seen this year Harrison Ingram be a special player. If you throw in Armando Baycott at that level, there is another level of UNC basketball that they can achieve, and they got pretty darn close to it on, on Saturday. And actually, R.J. Davis probably uh, didn't have one of his best games. But he had the wherewithal to get out of the way and let Ingram and let Baycott cook and and not force it as the leading scorer on their team and say, no, I got to get mine. He said, you got it. Let's talk about Harrison Ingram. That that feels like, uh, if you listen to this show, you know we've we've been owning the metaphorical Harrison Ingram stock since like the third game of the year. We saw him playing early on, and, and I've absolutely loved him. I know Dennis loved him. When, when Graham has been on the show, he's been right there with us. I've said he's the best team on the roster. The best player on the roster. Best player on the roster, excuse me. He, he We already knew everything about him. We knew he has this ability to get in the 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 – to fall into position or to fall into the production that UNC needs most, it did feel like against Duke a lot of the world was like, oh, either I get what you're saying and I see it now, or has anybody seen this? And we're sitting here screaming, yes, we have. Even though we already knew it about him, it was still nice to be rewarded by by him backing us up, right? When you call somebody all these different nicknames, and we've lovingly referred to him as the amorphous blob, we've lovingly (laughs) lovingly referred to him as the shapeshifter, we've lovingly referred to him as all of these different different, uh, nicknames, to have him back us up in a game like that, his first Duke game as a UNC Tar Heel, thank you very much, Harrison. Welcome to the show. Rebounded like a madman. Why? Because I believe they saw Duke as a little light down low. 
right? Mark Mitchell, Kyle Filipowski, they both have the ability to go to the perimeter. If both your guys uh, on, uh, if both your big guys on a team have the ability to go to the perimeter, that means the other team is going to send their guys down low. Harrison Ingram was there with with thirteen rebounds. I did call for fifteen, but I'll settle for thirteen. He also knocked down a ton of threes, five of them. That is exactly what I'm talking about. He is a player that can slash. He is a player that can dunk. He is a player that can get offensive rebounds and go back up. But he saw Armando Baycott getting busy in the down low and said, cool, when when the defense magnetizes, right, when, when Baycott has a gravitational pull into the post, I'll be out at the perimeter knocking down jumpers. And he knocked him down at a high level and a high volume, and, and he had one of the better games of his season, maybe one of the better games of his career. Harrison Ingram announced himself to the world, and now he has the ability to live up to that. And there's that big three. It's R.J. Davis, it's Harrison Ingram, and and if Baycock can play like he's been playing, it's back to being a big three. And you can play that little game that they played where R.J. Davis can say, all right, you're going you're gonna to spend all your perimeter effort on stopping me? I- Ingram will knock down the threes. All right, you're going to uh, expand your defense? We'll go down low, and he can be a bully, meaning Baycott. That was an announcement from UNC, and it's bouncing back from their Georgia Tech loss, and it's Hubert Davis getting his first win over John Shire, and that's the second best team in the ACC coming into the game in both the AP rankings, of which they're still the only two ACC teams ranked, and in the actual standings as far as win-loss coming into the game, the second best team in the ACC. If you want to separate yourself from the conference, if you want to make it obvious to voters, to selection committee, to rankers, to to your opponents that you are the the top of the top, the team to beat in the Atlantic Coast Conference, you, from an eye test perspective, absolutely dominate the second best team in the conference. So also Armando Baycott even up his career record against Duke at five and five. Yeah, but I, I'd give him a an edge, and what I mean by that is not all of those games were created equal. Right. You win a Final Four game, that might be worth two. Yeah, You win a game in Coach K's, Final it, game, yeah. might be worth two. And I know Duke fans won't like to hear that, but it is what it is, right? The, the rivalry matters more, and because of that, they're, and by the way, in like the history of the rivalry, Duke has their fair share of games that I would count as two as well. It's just Baycott is, he's been a part of two of the bigger ones, and, and this most recent one felt personal, right? It felt like we didn't beat you last year, and as you heard him say, I'm not going to let us lose this one. And it takes a special type of person to be able to have that kind of wherewithal. I would have loved to have seen someone from Duke say it too. I would have loved for Proctor, who was non-existent at times. I would have loved for Filipowski, who was getting pushed around at times, to say, I'm not going to put up with it. 